What is happening, people? It's your guy Evans. I'm here in Shepherd's Bush. And guess what I'm doing again? I am going to view another one of my success students' properties. Absolutely killing it. It's two females, full of energy, very positive. I'm super excited to be working with them. It's been an absolute pleasure. So let's come with me. Let's check it out. It's an amazing property. Let's have a look. Shana. Hello. Hey, yeah. What is happening, ladies? You alright? Good. good to see you. How are you? Good to see you too. Thanks for coming. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> so this is it, isn't it? This is place. Yeah, show me around. So we've got the first bedroom, okay. king size bed, it's an earned suite, so we've got the, the bathroom here. What Thanks. made you guys choose blue and white? So blue is kind of our theme anyway, kind of. So the dash is blue, so we just thought we'd stick to a blue kind of theme. So I've been seeing the dash, I guess that's the company's sort of like name, brand? Yeah. yeah. Does, this, does this stand for anything or is it just a catchy sort of like? I kind of just said it last minute, like we were just because we had an um, essay that we were going to take previously, so we had to kind of move quickly. So I just said Dash, because like Diana and Shana. So it kind of. And then nice. her middle name's it. A anyway, so it just goes. Perfect, amazing. Well, looks very, very good. Thank you. Uh, I love the pictures. Who chose the pictures? Me. It was last time. I was like, even hesitant. Like it. I didn't really like it, but it actually looks good art. So, uh, good, good choice. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're very good stuff. Driving here, I realised that I, I passed Queen's Park Rangers uh, Stadium as well, like, like four minutes away. Yeah. Westfields is, is four minutes away. Yeah. Perfect location. Nice, right? yeah. Of course, you've got a second bedroom here as well. Yeah. Yeah, so Perfect. this second bedroom, we didn't really have that much of a theme going on. We kind of just, like, just done anything, but yeah. this is the second bedroom. I mean, we tried to jazz it up with, like, the tray, chocolates. Yeah, so. <laughs> I love yeah. it. I love it. Looks very Put good. Put the frames up. You've you done a very good job. Thanks. So did, did, did you completely finish this from scratch to, to finish or was it finished already? So it came furnished, so the beds were here, washing machine, sofa. So we only had to really get like the light bits, like towels, um, yeah. blankets. Alright, cool. I recall when I was in my class of film charge, it was actually in this area, Shepherd's Bush. All right, ladies. So we here at your lovely two-bedroom service accommodation in the heart of uh, Shepherd's Bush. So uh, first of all, what made you guys choose this area? Because we weren't getting that much luck in the area that we wanted to. I just said let's just broaden our options, and then I just started looking in um, Norton Hill. Um, Hammersmith area then we just came across this deal. Perfect, perfect. So number one, you two obviously, how did you two end up meeting should I say? So we went to your one pound event um, and we actually first initially met there and then at the second event which is the one the we both joined at the three day event. Yeah so but then we, we spoke at the one pound event briefly and then um, the three day event I saw you again I was like oh like hey and she was like you actually came and then we spoke at the three day event and I said to her what did I say um, Diana I'm going to be on you like yeah. you need to like be on your game we briefly spoke about like joint venturing and stuff like that and then and then you joined the mastermind so I was like okay like I'm going to have to join the mastermind and then we met up recently to do like to go to auction houses and then from there it was just like it would be great if we just partner up and do it together we'll get there a lot quicker perfect. we both kind of needed each other so it was like yeah perfect that sounds really really good so what made you guys want to partner up together we both knew success would happen a lot quicker if we joined together um i'm quite busy with work she has a bit more um, flexibility with time so we were just like we split the roles with each other and was just like if you have more time to look for deals and i'll try to look here and there and then we go to viewings together and yeah I don't know it just works yeah it really does it work. really just works with perfect because obviously a, a lot of the other mastermind members are, are obviously like raving about how, how you two just connect which, which is amazing and a lot of times people ask me like you know how do I find joint venture partners this that and the other um you guys just mentioned it you were just in the right room you know you were in the right room and the good thing about it is I guess you guys could trust each other because you both invested in yourself and you know that she's not just a talker she's a doer as well mm -hmm. um I'm not sure if, if, if you guys have anything to say about that 
I'm just glad I went to your event because we would have never met each other. We would have never done a joint venture. And I don't think if I didn't put myself in that situation, I would have never been around those kind of people. Yeah. And it's hard when you're just stuck in your normal environment to be exposed to those kind of people. So, yeah. Absolutely. Grateful. And it's crazy I was in there if you go because I, re I remember your, your, your very first event, you were very sort of like timid, very in your shell. And I was just like, I hope she gets out of her shell because she's got loads of potential. Um, and you were I mean, then I ran about doing the training. You're like, oh, Evans, I've got, I've got, <laughs> I, I already have a unit that's going bad, and I can't, and, I can't, and, you, and you just kept finding a way, and you've learned here. Now you're just so confident. Yeah. What do you think sparked the change? What happened? What made you just like be like, cool? Let me stop giving the excuses and actually do it properly. I think because um, before I joined the training, I had a really bad deal that didn't really go correctly, and I feel like that's what kind of made me be like, okay, I need to do it properly and do it the right way and get trained. Otherwise, I would have just left property completely if I didn't join the mastermind because I would have lost all my money from before and I just probably would have lost all hope, so. Amazing, and, and the thing about it is that, that that's well done on you because there are people who obviously go out there and if they just buy a deal and they invest in a deal and it goes wrong, like, you know what, forget property, I don't want to do it anymore. Or maybe they've invested it in, in some other trade and it hasn't gone well and they've just given up. But you're not like that. You had a bad experience, but you're like, you know what, that's because of me. I will take the L and let me do it correctly the right, the, the, the right the next time so well done on you. you so in regards to this particular deal number one massive well done if you with you girls because you've got this property in a phenomenal location when i started property i actually was looking in this area why because i know westfield is like four minutes away and you have got qpr stadium like another four minutes away so it's in a prime location yeah so talk to you about the numbers let's talk about numbers like number one what's the rent on here so the rent for this property is 2200 and then bills are around 350 yeah. Okay, cool. So 2,200, which is very good. Prime location, Shepherd's Bush, two bedroom, modern apartment. Also as well, what about the deposit? So we didn't actually pay a deposit. Well, we did, but... Um, so you paid no deposit? Deposit replacement insurance. So it was just... Um, like 500 pounds, yeah, yeah, for the amazing. And I can recall speaking to you literally a few. Uh, in, in fact, why don't you give us the story? What Wait, honestly, like, I spoke to Sean about it. I was like, I can't believe, like, if I didn't book that call in with you, I don't think we would have continued looking, like, with the mindset I was in. Um, so I had my accountability call with you. Um, and at that point, I was just feeling so like deflated. We were going to viewings, uh, landlords were asking for like £3,000 deposit or six month um, rent in advance. And I didn't feel like I had enough money. And I spoke to you and I was like, I just don't feel like there's any point in looking because I haven't got enough money to get started. And then I remember you saying to me, don't be silly. You will find a way. God will help you. Like, just keep looking. Like. There's so many different options. You'll come across like the right landlord. And I generally believe if I did not have that conversation with you, I would have just stopped looking and yeah, you not bothered. Said... And literally three days later, we came to this viewing and managed to get practically no money down, just pay rent and yeah. it's just crazy. Perfect. I could Perfect. see she was actually low-key given up. I was, I just felt so deflated and I was like, there's no point. Oh, yeah, hundred percent. And and the reason why I was like give you loads of encouragement at the beginning, because for me when I got started as well, I wanted to quit every day, bro. Every day I'm thinking like this thing is long. But obviously, when you haven't got anyone around you, you will listen to your thoughts and you're gonna just like you know what? At least I try. But when you got somebody who's done it and, and then you, you keep going, it gives you loads of confidence, doesn't yeah. it? Um, so you got this property. All you put down was literally just the just the rent. It was already furnished, no deposit in the heart of London. Yeah. And a lot of people I speak to always say about oh man. This, those deals doesn't exist. So all in, to, to go into this deal, how much d did you have to pay up front? Around 3,000. Just 3,000 yeah. pounds, like in total rents. And that's your rent, it's crazy. Amazing, so talk to me about obviously the profits. You know, how much is this property obviously, um, you know, gonna make you guys every single month? Because I know there's a very high occupancy rate over here. So around 2,000, just over 2,000 a month. Just yes. about 2,000 pounds a month. Yeah, yeah and the occupancy in the areas. Well, just from um, Airbnb and VRBO, 71%. That's crazy. So you currently work as well, right? Yeah. Do you want me asking roughly how much do you how much do you make in your job a month? After tax, around 1,600. So, and how many hours a week do you, do, do, do you have to work? 40 hours, sometimes overtime, you don't get... So you have to work 40 time. hours, <laughs> four weeks in a month, 40, 80, 120. So you have to give 160 hours a week to make 1,800 pounds. Yeah. And this property here, you set it up one time and say, say it again. How much is it going to make every single month? Just over 2,000. Just over 2,000 pounds. One property, man. Yeah. Come on, girls. Bring it in, man. Proud of you lot, man. Proud of you lot. Thank you. So here's the thing, though. If there's obviously somebody who's on the fence, because 
because obviously when you guys were started you, you both were kind of on the fence so if there's someone was was in your shoes when you were getting started what sort of advice would you give to them i would say just do it properly and just do it straight away because the longer you delay like the plans is the longer it's going to take and then you just start thinking other things if that makes sense so just just do it amazing how about yourself for me personally being in an environment in my job where everyone's closed-minded everyone's been there for over like 10 years i needed accountability i needed to be around people who were doing what i wanted to do so definitely get the right training be around people who are where you want to be i needed accountability and i think if i was stuck in my own head i wouldn't be where i am now without having someone in my ear telling me do this do that stick to this stick to that so yeah definitely get the right training um, and be around the right people and just go for it face your fears amazing well done and this is not your only deal you guys also sold the deal as well if i'm not mistaken and how much money did, did, did i make you guys so we co-sourced the deal we got one thousand from that so you co-sourced the deal you got one thousand you got this property with no next to no deposit but no deposit and not only that this is a free flat property and the, the other two flats are empty and the landlord is giving to you amazing so you open to like people, people to join venture with you amazing I am very proud of you girls, but come on, give me another high five, man. <laughs> Absolutely amazing, man. Uh, thank you girls. I appreciate you girls. Obviously, sky's the limit. This is the first of many. All you have to do is just keep repeating the process. Well done. So, so gas, so excited for these ladies. They absolutely kill me. You know what I like about them most? Because they both were on the edge when they were getting started off. And I tell them, I told Holy and tell them, listen, it's going to be okay. I'm going to be there if you're along the way. And I think that was the confidence that they needed and listen if, if if you are like these girls and you are on the edge listen there's only one feeling in the world that can be worse there's no feeling worse than being in a place of movement where everything is happening around everyone's winning and you're stuck there's no feeling worse than that right so if you're on the edge get off the edge and try because god rewards people who try if you want to be like this ladies come down to the next free event let me teach you and train you exactly what i have learned from all of my different trades all my different mentors and from myself come down to the next event click the video the link somewhere around this video come on learn let's go